whiskey jason here whiskey from the viewpoint of an american over here in germany tasting rare and exotic whiskey you've never seen bottles like this well neither have i before this is rabbit hole single barrel four year old barrel number four lot 17k24 whiskey base number 220702 this on the other hand is for the also for the french market both of these from le distillerie general for le maison de whisky so lmdw the house of whiskey in france and paris this is a six-year-old uh, smooth ambler 2016 distilled 2022 bottled um cast number 2956 434 bottles, 62.5%. Here we have 400 bottles at 56.1%. They're both 350s, so they would not be allowed in America, just like you're not allowed to have 500 milliliters. I do now know that um, 700 milliliters are allowed, but other um, bottle sizes are still frowned upon or illegal. So just like a 375 milliliter that you would have, the half of the 750, would not be allowed over here in Germany either. So we still have the same problem with 750 and 700. I hate it. So the Smooth Ambler is going to run me around at Le Maison de Whisky um, in France, 115 euros. And the Rabbit Hole is going to run me around 135 euros for a 350 milliliter bottle. So we have 250 euros for a full size 700 liter, 700 milliliter bottle here. Now it is very, I, I don't know of any cast strength, 54.1%. 54 don't forget barrel entry proof is 55%. I don't know of any independently bottled rabbit hole cast strength bourbons at all. Maybe you do, but I don't. All right, so over here, the Smooth Ambler. This is a single cast Smooth Ambler. Um, I don't know if they were part of a private uh, cast program. I do know both of these distilleries now belong to Pinot Ricard. Pinot Ricard is a French company. They own TX Distilling, which was Robertson and Firestone down in uh, Fort, um, Fort Worth and Texas. They own the brand of Jefferson's and building a new distillery for them. And they own um, Rabbit Hole and Smooth Ambler. And of course they own Irish distillers, which means Jameson and a lot of other things in Ireland, a lot of brands we just love. All right, so um, I think the Irish, oh, oh I'm sorry. I'm not, Penel Ricard is doing a very fantastic job of preparing for the future. The Agio, what do they have? They had Bullet. They had to build their own distillery for it, just like um, Pinot Ricard is doing for Jefferson's. Uh, they had George Dickel. And now they just recently bought Baconis. So that's good, but I think you need to be a little bit more spread out and have some more of those interesting places that are happening there in the world of whiskey and not just rely on Bullet to sell your products. But hey, that's... Who knows? I mean... Diageo sold Bushmills, traded it in for a tequila um, plant. So shame on you for doing that. Shame on you. All right. All right. <laughs> Don't, let's not shame Diageo any more than we have to. Uh, this is Pinot Ricard's time to be a little bit um, shamed. It's like, all right, so who do I need to contact in order to get a single cask for Germany? Hmm. Apparently, people in France got it. So if they got it, why can't I get it? Now, I've looked at the um, Le Distillerie Générale, LDG, and um, they have all this packaging. I mean, so this, this looks Chinese to me. I mean, the bottle fits in here very nicely. It's secure. It's more or less stable. Um, there's a little magnet that keeps it in there. And so on. You have a nice little cork. They're, they're tiny little bottles. They're petite. I mean, it's a real cork here. Press, I'm sorry, it's press cork. And so on. So they pour okay. It's got some weight. It's got a little bit of, of I don't know. This feels like uh, the cheap Chinese souvenir. 
All right. Why haven't I poured these? Shame on me. Now, the rabbit hole is 55% barrel entry proof, and it tastes it. This is going to be basically 62.5% barrel entry proof. So, God made it all the way down to 62.5 ABV as well, and you taste that also. Water definitely dissolves over four years. Very, very different products in the barrel rather than alcohol. Alcohol goes for the tannins. Um, water goes for the sugars and the vanillins. I think more and more distilleries should be not just experimenting, but actually using lower barrel entry proof for their products. I had a little bit of the feeling um, that Rabbit Hole might have been using small bag. I'm sorry, sweet mash. I couldn't find any further information. I know the rye sour mash and many other other things are sour mash. Um, but also, that would be a fabulous, fabulous move, wouldn't it? So, um, Rabbit Hole, if you're in Louisville, please visit them. I visited the distillery. I found them actually much more interesting. Uh, I can't say much more interesting. I visited Angel's Envy Distillery 2017. I really liked it. It was one of the best tours I had done up until then. And then I was 2022 at Rabbit Hole, visited the distillery, and my tour guide was awesome. I mean, I don't, I forgot his name, but he was an old guy. I have a picture of him, an older guy, and he was just so funny and great. And the whole thing about Rabbit Hole, which I really, really find fascinating, is they decided they designed the distillery around the um, spectators, what I'm going to call it, the um, uh, the visitor's point of view. So you start down the bottom, you work your way up, you end up at the top of the pots of the of the column still. I've never been to the top of a column still before. Totally awesome. You go over to the tasting room with a wonderful view of the skyline of Louisville, and you have the entire process that you walk through level for level and so on. It was fabulously constructed the distillery for the um, visitors' enjoyment. If I go over here to Angel's Envy, they made a distillery and allowed visitors to go through it. Yeah, I, you get the difference here. This was made for the visitors, the distillery experience, and this was a typical distillery, and yet we allowed, um, it's like being at a construction site and having pathways set up that is protected from everything else. And that's what that is. And it wasn't built for distill for, for visitors. It was built. Uh, it was it was changed, modified a little bit to allow visitors to also be there. So I just remember going to the still house, and there was they they would chase us through there basically. And it was like, okay, take a look, take a picture, get out, boom. And it was just a totally, and then the rabbit hole was like, <laughs> you were walking around the column still the entire time. It was like, take as many pictures as you want. This is really nice here. And at the top, the view is even better. That's just fabulous, fabulous. All right, bourbon tourism in um, Kentucky. Great job, West Virginia. Uh, I don't know if we'll ever stop by Smooth Ambler, but we'll see. On the nose. Oh, that's so good. On the nose. That's almost as good, but it's not. This is more black tea. This is more sassafran. Um, this is pure goodness. The very, very, I mean, this is, this is, this is, someone wrote recently, um, someone had a whiskey and it was just one of those unicorns and I said, that's the reason why I drink whiskey. Yeah, and I mean, this is, this is one of the reasons I drink whiskey. This is just so good. Um, I compared this to my Elijah Craig, um, B921, 60.1%. Yes, it's a little bit better, but this is even more so. This, the rabbit hole. I mean, come on, people. Why don't we have more rabbit hole out there in cast strength? This is superior, supreme, delightful, divine. Pecans, almonds, marzipan. I get a little bit of apricot. Tobacco. Brown sugar. Wood spice. 
Oh, goodness. Cheers. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. What I love about low proof whiskeys, there is alcohol there. There's not a burn, but there's alcohol. The 54.1% is cast drink, and it's so good. No water needed. It's just, it has that, oh, the awesomeness of great whiskey. Think peerless single barrel. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, good. This is a B plus in my book. I do not give many B pluses. Uh, value for money, a D minus. So is this worth a price tag of, let's go here for um, 270 euros for a bottle at 0 0.7 um, liters? Is that worth 270 for me? Uh, no. Would I pay 130? Nah! <laughs> Probably. Yeah, but 270 is just too steep. Now, this was 135 at Le Maison de Visky. That's the original price they paid in France over here in Germany. I got it for a little bit cheaper for 119 but still, ah, that's so much money for so little juice. Smooth Ambler. Um, I do have their Smooth Ambler Founders Cast Strength 5-year-old rye, which I really, really enjoyed. I thought that was an awesome bottle with a great flavor profile. Um, but the, I, I don't think I've had a cast strength uh, smooth ambler from them yet. And so this is something that would be worth the 20, 30 euros to have 5 CL samples. To um, just try this whiskey once, see what they're doing, figure out if I like that profile or not, and then go chase some of these bottles down. I have a little bit of a, of a Christmas tree pine moment spruce. Let's go for spruce. Mm -hmm. mm. Much more heat, <clears throat> much more tannins, six years versus four years, but it's a higher barrel entry proof, I'm sure, that did that. Um, and even you get a little bit more of that wood, that, uh, that, that tannin astringency, a little bit of a pine spruce type of moment going on there. Um, this has more of a sweetness and more of a honey moment. This has a tiny little bit more of a brighter. Now, is it bright or is it dark? Yeah, it's a, like a greenish moment. And this is more of that um, the burnt orange moment. Oh, I, I just love this the rabbit hole. I think rabbit hole are doing a fantastic job of what they're doing. I think Smooth Ambler is doing a fantastic job, but I think rabbit hole is doing even a better job there. Um, I like the little barrel entry proof. I would love to have something with sweet mash as well. They're doing a lot of with the different the grains. Um, they do have the rye. They do have their um, bourbon. Smooth Ambler, of course, had the contradiction where they put the rye and the bourbon together. So most of it sourced stuff, and they had their old scout, which was all sourced. And I think they have a wonderful, wonderful blending team there. So um, this is a C, and I'm going to give it a um, D minus minus for value for money. Both of these are not worth it, but both of these are very unique and very interesting. And I'm very happy that I did buy them, and I get to I got to try them, and I got to share them with others. So this is not something we can um, see every day, independently bottled. Rabbit Hole, Cast Strength, and Independently Bottled Smooth Ambler. I'm pretty sure Pinot Ricard made this possible for La Distillerie General, um, for the Le Maison de Whisky, um, the house of whiskey there in Paris, France. So my question of the day is, have you seen any independently bottled Cast Strength single barrels of Rabbit Hole or Smooth Ambler? If so, where? What? How much? And the last question is, imagine somebody would do a barrel pick of cast strength rabbit hole, um, four years old, um, and you had a 750 milliliter bottle, what should it cost as a store pick? Is that going to be a $40, $60, $80, $100, $120, $140, or as I have it here, a $230 bottle?
please write and tell me where your th pain threshold lands. <sighs> Don't forget to like, subscribe, tell others, and thank you very much for watching. Whiskey Jason here. Bye-bye.